Hi, I welcome you all to our channel Kodai Linux Mitra. So here we are going to learn Linux commands, various types of Linux commands. Uh, like uh, we have the general purpose utilities, we have the file system commands, we have the file handling commands, we have the filter commands, we have the uh, techniques provided by Linux, that is command substitution and the piping mechanism and then uh, we are going to learn uh, Unix shell scripting, advanced features of Unix shell scripting, everything we are going to learn. Then what are the various uh, uh, what are the various tasks we can do with uh, do using Linux commands? When we are faced with uh, some particular problem, how do we solve it with the help of this uh, uni Linux commands and uh, the techniques? So we are going to learn all those things which are going to be handy in our day-to-day -day work. Okay, so to start with, <coughs> we are just starting with our sessions. Okay, and this let this be a good start. Oh, so to lighten up, let us start with uh, some general purpose utilities of uh, Linux. One such is uh, cal command. So let us just execute the cal command. So cal displays the calendar of the current month and current year. So November 2020 and then it uh, highlights the current date, the system date. Okay, if you want to display any particular month and any particular year can you can we do that yes we can do that for example i want to display march month of 1982 yes we can very well do that so cal 03 1982 so march 1982 calendar it displays what if i want to display calendar of one entire year then what we need to do cal okay 2004 so i want to display calendar of the entire year 2004 so then it has been displayed here okay so right from January so right from January it displays the calendar of the Enter year. So 2004, then January, February, March. So like that, 12 months calendar it displays. So this is what calendar does. So let me quickly repeat it. Cal without any arguments. That is without any arguments passed to it. Displays calendar for that particular month. Cal with month and the year passed to it displays that month that is if i pass 4 04 1998 april 1998 calendar so any month any year calendar or i want to display the entire calendar of one year one particular year that also i can do that how we can do that cal followed by that particular year then it will display that entire year's calendar okay so that is this is what is about the cal command okay so next, next let us look at another general purpose utility, date command. Okay. So date, as the name suggests, it should display the system date. So it displays system date in a particular format. Okay. Like how it displays the week, day of the week, month, date, time, then uh, the which time. So IST, that is the time zone and then the year so uh, can we customize this date like i want to display uh, mm then uh, uh, i want to display like dd hyphen mon hyphen yyyy can we do that yes we can do that how do we do that date plus percentage d hyphen percentage h hyphen percentage yyyy Okay, so that should display the date in the format. Sorry. Okay. That should display the date in the format. 
dd m o n y y y y okay capital y will display with the century information also small y will display just the 2020 that just the 20 it will display okay so that's the difference so we can display the uh, format with the format with the format specification so this is called as format specification so the um, whatever is starting with percentage no that is called as format specification percentage d refers to date h refers to month in the format uh, mon the first three characters of the month and percentage y refers to the year percentage capital y will display with the century information also that is 2020 or last two digits of the year that is percentage small y okay so there are so many other format specifications that are available with date okay let us uh, look at one more instance uh, of formatting with the date command i want to uh, display like uh, the this particular date month at this particular year okay how do i do that date plus because any format specification should be prefixed with plus plus per plus percentage d th sorry date plus percentage d th okay slash space percentage m slash space maybe we can give a comma if you want slash space percentage capital y okay so how does it display so 16th uh we want we don't want to display 16th 11 2020 okay so we want to give it like percentage h so we can give it like percentage h so 16th november 2020 so we want to display in this particular format yes we can do that okay and given any command i want to know what is that command what all that command can do what is the syntax of the command what are the arguments i can pass to the command okay i want to know various aspects of the command so is there any documentation documentation pages in uh, linux yes you have a command called man command so with the man command we can display documentation pages of any particular command so man date it displays the documentation pages of the uh, date command there are various sections in manual pages like name name tells something about that command what is that command and what is the uh, in short form what the, what does it do in short what does it do then synopsis synopsis tells about the syntax of the command how it has to be executed what syntax it has to be uh, executed those things. then uh, description about the command in the description uh, options that can be passed with the command that is discussed uh, and then the as far as date command is concerned what are the format controls we can specify that is also given okay so so given any command we can know about the command like and finally it, uh, some examples to execute that command that is also given so when you are when you want to understand about any particular command man pages can also help you to understand it how do you come out of the man page you need to press q to quit from the man page so now we have quit from the man page let us now look at couple of more general purpose utilities in linux one is echo what does echo do echo displays whatever is passed as an argument echo welcome it displays welcome echo okay welcome to linux echo welcome to linux echo welcome i want to give so many so many spaces to then again so many spaces linux but still it displays with only one space so how do you keep the spaces intact for that what we can do we can just specify within double quote so i want to just give welcome to linux within double quote
it saves the space okay what does echo do means echo displays whatever is given to it as argument whatever string is given to the echo command as argument and then puts a new line at the end of the argument hence it displays the dollar prompt in the next line got it so this prompt is called as the dollar prompt this is the unix shell prompt okay so what does echo do echo displays the string which is passed to it as argument which is issued with the command as argument and at the end of that string it displays a new line character okay with echo we can even display some variables value okay so let us suppose i am creating a variable how do we create a variable like flower equal to jasmine so now this is how you this is how you create a variable variable name equal to value okay so i want to display the content of that variable the value of the variable so echo dollar flower so when you prefix a variable with the dollar it the shell understands that that is a variable and it has to fetch the value of the variable and display it yes it displays it it fetches the value of the variable and re substitutes that variable name with the value of the variable and then echo what does it do it just displays it so dollar is known as variable interpretation character so dollar what is what does it mean dollar is variable interpretation character okay dollar is a variable interpretation character echo command helps us to display the value of the string that we know any string passed to it as argument not only that with echo we can display a message with some variable also so along with the variables value so, so we can separately display the value of variable name okay or separately display the message or even like this echo okay my login is dollar log name okay so my login is murali underscore maha next let us look at a command called uname so what is the purpose of uname so the command is what uname what is the purpose of uname i have logged into a particular operating system i have connected to a particular operating system and it is that operating system has given me one shell prompt this dollar is called as the shell prompt okay so to which os i have logged in i want to know information about that operating system so whether it is unix which flavor of unix or linux uh, so i want to know so this is linux i want to know more information about that operating system so then then uname hyphen a would help me to get more information about that operating system i want to know what the what is this uname command so man command as i told you earlier man command helps me to understand about this command print system information system to which you have connected okay hyphen a means all information hyphen s kernel name then node name hyphen n kernel release kernel version release means release date information it will display date time and all then machine processor hardware platform operating system all these informations it displays okay so gnu linux is nothing but the uh, name of the linux os there is name of the os there is gnu linux okay so with this we are coming to the conclusion of this uh, first session uh, we are going to uh, go through a series of session uh, i hope these sessions are going to be very useful so we are going to see more exciting commands uh, okay so stay tuned with us so please subscribe to our channel um, okay kodai linux mitra okay um, so stay tuned subscribe and click on the bell icon so that you get updated about uh, our posts thank you all bye bye take care